Hello everyone, I'm going to be explaining what turtle soup is. There's a lot of confusion going around about this topic and I'm going to be simplifying it in this video. If you are bearish, a turtle soup is when price goes above an old high. Above this old high, there will be buy stops or buy side liquidity. And since you already have a level where you believe price is going, let's say this is on a higher time frame, when price goes above this specific high right over here, you are just selling above that high. So you are trading external range liquidity. In this example, if you're already bullish and you think price is going to head up to this price area up in here and price goes beneath a low, you are buying beneath that low. So you're not waiting for a market structure shift higher. You're not waiting for a fair value gap. You're not waiting for a breaker block for some of the more advanced ICT students. You guys at least know the basic terminology there. You're not waiting for any PD array. You are simply waiting for price to trade beneath an old low buying it beneath that low and then holding for your higher time frame target or for buy side liquidity up here in the bearish example you're not waiting for a bearish breaker bearish fair value gap bearish inversion fair value gap you are simply selling as soon as price goes above this high this is the most advanced ict concept and there's not a lot of information about it on the internet now before you think i'm another hindsight teacher of these concepts yesterday if you do check out my twitter at dan Dow trading i did post a live execution of me taking a short on the s p 500 this was a 1 to 20 rr short okay so we're going to be reviewing that in this video as you can see from the start of the video i am entering as soon as price goes above this previous high right here so i'm not taking any trades in here i'm waiting for price to go above this specific key high once it goes above that high, I'm entering above it. Now, as you can see, I didn't get the best fill here. I didn't get filled above that high, but you'll notice price starts to trade lower. I'm anticipating price to reverse above this high. Since I am already bearish, I do believe price is going to head all the way down into here. So I'm thinking we're going to see a huge drop. All I'm waiting for is for price to return above this key high. Once it takes out that high, I'm anticipating speed and velocity lower. So if you notice, I placed my stop right above that high. My entry is 51.88. My stop is 51.89.25. So I have a handle and a quarter stop loss. So I have a 1.25 stop loss. And if you look where I place my take profit, so we're going to go through this trade. You can see that I do mark out a bearish order block. I'm going to be diving into all of this, but we're just going to let this play out a little bit here. You can see that I do place a line down there and my take profit is all the way down at 5163.25. Now I will save your time and I won't watch this entire video because it is two minutes here, but you can see once we reach this low, I'm anticipating a fast drop beneath that low. I'm going to be diving into that. This is where a lot of ICT pattern traders do get faked out because we do have what looks to be a change in the state delivery here where ICT teaches price one candle breaks above a order block a lot of people just pattern trading the concepts or buying right here okay i'm saying this is a fake change in the state delivery if you're new a change in the state delivery is an order block it's when price moves from sell to buy program so people thinking that a bullish order block is forming here they're going to be targeting an old high they're wrong i'm saying fake change in the state delivery the draw is lower and you'll see that they do get stopped out. I say pattern traders just got stopped out. My eye is on this specific level down here. Okay, so notice I entered up here. I'm holding just one contract all the way down for this low. If we skip it ahead, here's where I do show the trade. It was just about 1 to 20 RR. So this is 1 to 19.8. So I just rounded up 1 to 20. And I'm holding for that key low down in there. And there you can see I did get filled. So entering above the old high, selling beneath sell side liquidity. So how did I do that? What's the framework behind that idea? Okay, well, I already believe that price is going to go lower, and I'll be explaining that in a second. And I'm selling above an old high, right? So when price returns above buy side liquidity, I am selling. But how do I get such a tight stop loss? We will be diving into that as well. So what's important to understand is that I'm not looking for market structure shifts when trading this model. I'm not looking for order blocks. I'm not looking for breaker blocks. I'm trading external range liquidity. So this is NFP right here. Price wicks lower. Okay, it does leave these relative equal lows in here. So when I see this, I'm thinking since it is pretty overextended to the upside, likely we have unfinished business down here. 
smart money is not likely to leave these th three relative equal lows in here if you guys do want to see more content from me i do have a discord i do have a course in there there's about eight videos where I walk you through how to trade the basics of ICT concepts from beginner to advanced. Any knowledge level can take the course. Okay, I also do talk about the S&P 500, NASDAQ, and the Dow throughout the week. When I do see setups, I do post them. This was on the Dow. So I didn't alert the ES trade that I took, which was the 120, but I did alert pretty much the same exact thing on the Dow. So we had a smart money reversal. I was looking for price to target old lows. I said there's a market maker sell model in play on the Dow. And then I did share my executions on it. It's not a signal service. I'm not telling you where to buy or sell. I'm strictly showing you where I believe price is going. Okay. So here's another example. Thinking that price can run out by side liquidity. I'm entering in the order block targeting the old high. I'm not telling you where to buy at or sell at. I'm just showing you what I believe the market will do next. Not financial advice. If that's something you're interested in. There is a three day free trial, which will be the first link down below. So if we do zoom out to the hourly time frame, you will notice that we took out another level of buy side liquidity. Just waiting for this to load. There we go. So price took out this level of buy side here. And then on the lower time frame, it also took out buy side liquidity again. Okay. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm waiting to see how does price react above this old high. Now it does expand here, but I'm just looking at this as manipulation. If you do measure this high that we talked about over here, okay, to this high with the Dow, S&P 500 made a higher high, Dow made a lower high. So that's SMT divergence. That is a crack in correlation between correlated assets. When I see that, that is an indication to me that smart money is involved, right? So I'm using SMT to tell me if price will likely reverse above an old high. So we take out this high. Remember we have SMT, we ran two levels of buy side liquidity. If we drop down into a five minute time frame. You'll notice I'm using that higher time frame narrative on the lower time frame. So we took out buy side liquidity on the hourly time frame. We've taken out buy side liquidity on the 15 minute time frame. And up here, we do have a change in the state delivery. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at as the real change in the state delivery. We have an up close candle, price closes beneath it here. On this candle, price closes beneath the up close candle. So we have a move from buy to sell program. And now I'm looking for a price to start targeting sell side liquidity. So what are the levels of sell side that it's going to want to target? We have this low right here. Okay, this is a five minute level of sell side. And then we also do have this 830 low, which is data lows, which is around 5141.50. Now you will notice that I did take off a little bit before that. But essentially, I'm just using the higher time frame for my levels of liquidity. Also a 15 minute level of liquidity right here. Price runs both of those out. Okay, price extends towards the 950 to 1010 macro, which I don't really use macros that much, but you could use that as confluence if you want. Once we break beneath this up close candle right here, that shows me that price is likely to target this low. If you don't know what that is, it's a change in the state delivery. You could search it up and find it on ICT's YouTube channel. Now that I have the bias that price is likely to go down here, right? That's the most important thing is finding a bias. Since I already have that all the way down till price reaches this previous low down here, order flow is going to be bearish. Okay. So I know price is going to reach for this previous low on the way down. When price returns above old highs, it is only going above those old highs for smart money to sell to the buy stops and then displace price back lower. So if we go back to this video over here, and if I skip it back, you'll notice I do position myself above this high. So this was right in around that 1050 time frame. Okay, price does run out that old high. That is where I position myself short. And you'll notice I do hold that short all the way down to the 5163 level with a 1 to 20 R trade. Okay, so all I'm doing here is I have the bias that price is going to run down to these levels of sell side liquidity. Okay, on the lower time frame, I'm waiting for price to return above an old high. Okay, once it returns above this level of buy side liquidity, this is where smart money will key up off of. Smart money will sell to those buy stops above here. Think about it. When we displace lower here, retail traders thinking that we have a double top. They're thinking that price can trade lower, that they trail their stop too quickly. This move is to run back on those people that trail their stop too quickly or breakout traders and basically induce people long on this move up 
so smart money could sell to those buyers and also take out the buy stops above this high i'm using that logic and the logic of the higher time frame that price is likely to trade down to here to short above this level of buy side liquidity okay so we run out this low we wick it price returns back higher it's just returning above this old high this is where smart money will sell above the old high and then go ahead and target lower prices so this is what a turtle soup is you are trading external range liquidity when price returns above this previous high in here i'm selling i'm thinking like smart money i'm selling to the buy stops i'm entering if you look at my entry up here i entered at 5188 okay and then no drawdown price just immediately trades lower and if you look at where my initial stop placement was it was only one point and a quarter above my entry price so if we look over here i'm entering in this candle once price takes out the liquidity and then price this place is lower when price creates a change in the state of delivery so when price closes beneath this up close candle it creates a change in the state of delivery to the downside once i see this order block created okay i'm not anticipating for this high to get traded to again so my stop is safe up there Okay, we're likely to start seeing speed and velocity notice how price doesn't see speed beneath this previous low that shows you that it's not likely to expand lower yet how do i know it's likely to expand lower here because we do see speed beneath this low so that shows me that i'm likely on side when price wants to reach for a target quickly you'll see speed beneath old lows we don't see speed beneath this low which shows me that it's not done chopping around or retracing higher yet Okay, so I'm using the logic of the higher time frame that price is likely to trade down to these levels. And then I'm utilizing lower time frame key levels of liquidity, which we do have right here, waiting for price to run back on those. When price is in a sell program and it's going to be targeting these lows, it's only going to return above old highs for smart money to enter in short. So this is a turtle soup right here. Price traded above an old high. Smart money is selling to the buy stops there right here as well. Okay, so those are both turtle soup models. Once we create the change in the state delivery, this is another entry where smart money will get in. We also do have a breaker here. After every single turtle soup, there will be a breaker and or we do have the order block here. Okay, so there's always going to be a breaker and an order block after a turtle soup. You just have to look on a low enough time frame to see it. So if you miss trading it here, when price closes beneath this up close candle, or beneath this breaker, you could also enter in this wick right in here. Okay, so that is what the turtle suit model is. That is how I did trade it the other day. Okay, so if you guys do want to see these live execution videos, I do have, I do post them on my Twitter. This is a 1 to 20 RR short. Here is another one that I took. This was from February 27th that I did post where I'm positioning myself above this old high. The bias is lower. So I'm anticipating for price to just trade above this old high. I'm positioning myself. I'm top ticking these candles and then I'm holding for these swing lows. If it does load for us here. Okay. I'm holding for these swing lows. You notice I position myself up there and then I do hold all the way for the lows. Looks like the quality is a little bit bad, but you get the idea. Okay. So smart money sells above old highs. They buy beneath old lows. Retail buys above old highs. Okay. And sells beneath old lows so this is your classic 2022 ict student thinking that every market structure shift with a fair value gap is a buy that is false you need higher time frame narrative right and i'm not worried about market structure uh, i don't care about market structure shifts right i'm just trying to see which liquidity smart money has sold at or bought at and where price is then delivering to. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you like it. And I will continue to talk about turtle soups on my YouTube for free. Catch you guys later.